In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary, and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel reading today, we see Jesus coming to his hometown and the people not believing in him. And because of that, he was not able to perform many miracles because of their lack of faith. So we see a correlation between faith and miracles, between faith and God's actions in our lives. We see uh, with um, the people at, um, at Nazareth how they, they think they know it all. They think they know Jesus. They know where he's from. They know his parents. They know his, his cousins. So they don't believe in him. They don't believe that he can such, gain such wisdom and, and knowledge and perform all these mighty deeds. So they took offense at him. So they weren't open to, to him, to Jesus revealing himself for who he is. They're not open to learning more. Uh, they're not open to being surprised uh, uh, by, by Jesus, by God. And so they took offense at him. They think they know it all. They think they have all the answers. And so because of that, he did not perform many mighty deeds. So likewise with us, um, it teaches us a lesson too that to, to, to not fall into this trap of thinking we know it all, thinking um, that we have it all figured out. And so we're not open, we're not receptive to how God is working in our life. Um, conversely, we should be open, we should be humble, we should accept that we, we don't know it all that we don't have it all figured out, that we don't have all the answers, and that we're open to God's surprises. We're open to God revealing Himself to us in new ways. We're open to, to learning, perceiving uh, the actions of God in, in our life. We're open to God's surprises. So then we will see uh, God doing more mighty deeds, being more active in our lives. So we grow in our faith that way, not doubting, not being arrogant, uh, not being closed-minded, but being open to being receptive, to seeking to, uh, uh, to, and, and learning and to see where God is and how He's working in our lives. Just being open to God's surprises, then we will see Him more and more. We thank you, Jesus, for teaching us a lesson not to fall into the trap of thinking we know it all and having it all figured out, but rather to be humble, to realize that we are limited and that there's so much we still have to learn and know and that you want to reveal to us. Help us to be open to seeing you in our lives, seeing your actions and your direction and, and your presence. And help us to have faith in you so that we can, may see your, your presence more and more. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.